I'm at the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico. It is one of the world's largest radio telescopes with a dish 300 meters across. I had seen pictures and video of this before I came here, but honestly, the, the sheer scale is impossible to get across on camera. It is massive. For 50 years, it's been listening to the sky, and one day, it might just save the world. Arecibo has been part of discovering the large-scale structure of the universe. We've discovered prebiotic molecules in distant galaxies, the first millisecond pulsar, the first exoplanets. The big one which everyone knows about is the Nobel Prize for the discovery of the binary pulsar and the way that its orbit decayed exactly as predicted by general relativity. There's 50 years of discoveries here. I could talk for 50 years on discoveries of Arecibo. One of the most incredible things about the observatory is this, the suspended platform that I'm standing on right now. This entire colossal structure is suspended in the air on cables, like a suspension bridge. There are no pillars underneath holding this up and getting in the way. All this weight is being carried by the three concrete towers around the dish. And this platform isn't static. Big parts of it move. The telescope, by going a short way north and south can actually see about a third of the total sky from here. The main bowl of this dish is spherical. The complication though is a spherical mirror doesn't have a point of focus like a hyperbolic mirror which we're used to with big optical telescopes and most big radio telescopes. And so in order to get the signal to a focus, the Gregorian dome contains two smaller reflectors. These smaller reflectors actually bring everything to a point focus. And that means in the Gregorian dome, we can have much wider band receivers and cover from 0.3 gigahertz up to 10 gigahertz in frequency. Arecibo can do something that most radio telescopes can't. It can transmit. Famously, in 1974, it beamed the Arecibo message out to the stars. But there are also some more practical uses for sending big pulses of energy into space. Radar. Arecibo can bounce radar signals off planets, asteroids, and, well, anything nearby in the solar system and it can build up clear pictures of what is out there in the dark. The advantage of using the radar imaging is you can actually see the shape much better compared to the optical imaging. We can actually see even boulders on the surface if they are close enough, if it looks like a bone or if it looks like a sweet potato. <laughs> the SN transmitter is a high-powered transmitter that works at 2380 megahertz of frequency. That's the S-band. The whole transmitter is a megawatt of power. This transmitter produces a beam of power, and if you put your hand right through it, you could get burned. We mostly observe near-Earth asteroids. When new asteroids are found, the orbit is not very well defined yet. The main thing that we can do is really enhance the orbit information. Transmit a signal, and when it hits a moving object, uh, the wavelength of the signal changes depending on if the asteroid is moving towards the observer or away from the observer and that way we can actually get an estimate to millimeters per second of the velocity of the asteroid. When new asteroids are found, the distance can be determined to hundreds of meters, even tens of meters, so we can get very accurate information of where the asteroid will be from now to decade forward, <laughs> or even a century forward. Asteroid Apophis, the preliminary orbit information showed that it actually might hit the Earth. <laughs> After it was observed in radar, they could determine that it will go super close. It will probably disturb some of the satellites that are, that are orbiting Earth, but it doesn't hit the Earth. And that's very important to know, because now we know that we don't have to send Bruce Willis to <laughs> deflect the asteroid. <laughs> Out of all natural catastrophes, impacts are the one thing that we can actually avoid. So earthquakes, volcanoes, they just happen, we can actually help them. But if we can observe an asteroid early enough, we have opportunity to deflect it. Thank you so much to everyone at the Arecibo Observatory. If you'd like to know more about them and their discoveries, pull down the description for lots of links. And if you want to see behind the scenes on this video, then Matt, who is on camera, has been taking a load of footage and has put it together for the second channel.